All card charges at this bar are $20 minimum. We had a local pub near work that did $5 wine slash beers during happy hour. It was a bit of a dump but we didn't mind. Three of us would go regularly every Friday to relax. We usually bought rounds for each other, so three at a time, or maybe just one each if not all of us wanted to top up. Since this is a modern world, we'd pay by debit and just tap our card on the little machine. Simple. Easy. One week I get to the pub before the others so I went to order a wine for myself and reserve a nice table in the sun. When I went to pay, the bartender informed me of the manager's new rule, to pay by card is now a $20 minimum. For cash, a new ATM had been installed in the corner that only gives 20s and charges $3. 50 per cash out, of which the bar gets a good cut. Now I know it costs for every electronic transaction to occur, and it's not unusual to find small coffee shops asking for a $5 minimum to cover those costs, but $20 was outrageous, especially in a dive where all drinks are dirt cheap. It wouldn't even cover a usual round for us three. The bartender had to shrug and insist it was the manager's new rule. I tried to argue against it, since I just wanted a single glass. The manager came out and firmly reiterated that I'd have to either buy four wines or get cash from the ATM. But I refused to spend money in order to access my own money. I asked for four wines. Now, I am a petite woman, it doesn't take too much to get me sloppy. I paid by card and sat there at the empty bar and pounded these four cab salves with the same speed that I'd usually nurse one. By the time I had finished, my friends were still not there. I asked the bartender for one more glass of wine. The manager was also still there, cleaning glasses. He told me again what he was instructed to say before, there's a $20 minimum. So. I ordered four more wines. The manager looked pleased that his system was working. He was pretty smug about it all and wouldn't budge on any customers. Request. Before I paid for my second four-glass round with my card, I asked the bartender, within clear earshot of the manager, a pretty basic question, you've both got your RSAs, right? All bartenders and bar owners are required to possess a responsible serving of alcohol license, obtained through the state's commission for gambling and liquor. It's a heavily regulated industry, and a pretty strictly enforced license. Plainclothed officers will try to catch out bartenders who don't carry their license on them while serving drinks, and they'll sit to observe in bars for reckless behavior, such as knowingly serving alcohol to an inebriated customer. I am not someone with any legal authority, but I know enough people in the bartending-slash-casino industry to be aware of the laws. Of course, why? The bartender asked. He probably expected me to pull out a badge, but I am just a customer who wanted a glass of wine. I explained that it seems pretty irresponsible to serve a small woman four drinks simultaneously, when all I was asking for was one. Seems as though, by the bar's lack of attention, I have become quite intoxicated. And now you're about to happily process my second purchase of four drinks, knowing full well that I'm here alone. Eight drinks in less than an hour? Does that seem responsible to you? The smug look on the manager's face quickly turned to anger. I think you've had enough, then. No, no. You've already poured four more. Here, take my card. Go on. Can't let all that wine go to waste. I mean, all I wanted was one, but if I have to get four. The bartender was very confused and a little worried. Losing their RSA would mean losing his job. The manager refused to process my order, and angrily poured four glasses of wine down the drain, a loss far greater than the small electronic transaction fee that would have come with my basic wine order. I was sad to see the wine go, but I was happy to tell them that I'm reporting them to the state commission for breaches of their RSA. A petty move, but the manager chose greed over customer service and got what he deserved. I actually downloaded the complaint form online and began filling it out there at the bar, all while my body was now feeling the full force of four smashed wines. I was giggling while doing it, and slurring my words while asking for the manager's name and today's date. The bartender was very apologetic, and knowing none of this is his fault, I happily kept him off the form. By the time my friends arrived I was pretty intoxicated. After telling my story we decided to go somewhere else, and we definitely never went back. I don't know what came of the complaint exactly but the place shut down about six weeks later and became a brunch cafe. Seems like they lost all their regulars to a $20 minimum rule.